So the next thing is, you know, we have a kind of a coefficient, which is, you know, we or an exponent, which we talked about, which basically is a term, or in another case, a monomial. Um, so a polynomial is basically going to be a monomial or the sum of one or more of those monomials. So some examples of polynomials would be like 3x to the fourth, the one like I just did. All right. Another example you could do would be, you know, um, 3x to the fourth plus 2x cubed minus 5. Okay. So it doesn't really matter how many terms it has, but you've got to make sure it's the sum. And even if it's the negative, we can always rewrite um, 1 half you know, x to the uh, x squared minus 2x. Remember, we can always write a subtraction problem as an addition problem. So it doesn't matter if there's subtraction between the terms. The one important thing, though, that, ladies and gentlemen, that we cannot have is we cannot have um, an example of a polynomial cannot be you know, 3x to the negative second plus 1. You can't have negative exponents because negative exponents put the negative exponents puts the exponent where? In the numerator or the denominator to make it positive? Denominator. denominator. So therefore another example, another non-example would be um, you know x would be like uh, 3 over x squared plus 2x plus 1. That'd be like another example of a non-polynomial. Okay, you can't have polynomials in the denominator.